Hey guys, Michael here uh, with a real quick update. Just got a package from Mr. Bo Jocker. I found it down in my lobby while I was down mopping the floor, which I, I just do things like that around here. That's why my landlord likes me and I hope that's why my rent don't go up. Um, uh, very excited. Ran upstairs and uh, opened it up right away. Little note in here. Um, very, very kind and very thoughtful and uh, um, as always, Bo is such a thoughtful guy, so generous. Um, uh, I think we all know that in the vinyl community. He he's sends things out to people all the time, it seems like. Every time I turn around, somebody's, you know, um, opening another uh, love train box from the, from the man of the, in the Pacific Northwest. And... Uh, and his generosity uh, in this package, uh, this is just amazing to me. Uh, first thing right on top, honky tonk women backed with you can't always get what you want, uh, Rolling Stones. Um, God, I didn't realize that that was the flip side of, of honky tonk women. I didn't realize that. Um, love that song, thrilled to have it. I do know that it, I think this is the, the song that only showed up on uh, Through a Glass Darkly, as I recall. Uh, there's a, it was a, a singles only kind of thing for a long time. Um, uh, okay, uh, Gordon Bach, a rogues gallery of songs for 12 string. Have no idea who Gordon Bach is. I, very unfamiliar to me. Uh, this is from 1983 on Folk Legacy Records. And. Um, has a little booklet in it, and uh, uh, I, I think this is really cool, actually. This was taped onto the front, and it's a record of a, uh, uh, every time it was played on the air, which song, the DJ, and the date, and uh, the time. And I think that's really cool. And it looks like the last time it was played was May 14th, 1987. And they played side two, track six. The song St. Thomas. Um, very cool. <coughs> and I'm, I'm looking forward to listening to that. <clears throat> and these three here are just a uh, uh, total my Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The Waitresses. Uh, I, lo I love this band. I, I, I'm... I'm really big into the waitresses and uh, and really pretty much everything that I've ever heard Christopher Butler uh, get involved with uh, and um, um, I, I, do, I do have a copy of this so Bo thank you very much I will give it a good cleaning and uh, see how it how it goes and uh, um, uh, you know um, who knows uh, I may end up keeping it or I may end up uh, sharing that with somebody uh, they're a great band they really are very smart band um, the blues project live at town hall on verve forecast wow 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 um, I love this album I haven't had this album since sometime around probably 1972 and or three and uh, to have it again in my collection thrills me um, the two albums that I had by them back then were Projection and Live at Town Hall. And uh, I, I, it's hard, I'm hard pressed to say which is the better, but you certainly can compare them because this album, this live album, includes a number of songs that were on the studio album, but they're done live and much extended flute thing, I Can't Keep From Crying. Both of those are longer than the uh, studio version. And Wake Me, Shake Me, which is uh, almost 10 minutes long, as is Flute Thing, which they call Electric Flute Thing on this, but of course the original title was Flute Thing. And then, wow, I'm just so blown away. And I'm not doing this in order of awesomeness because these are both incredibly awesome that uh, here we have them featuring Here Comes the Night on the back, the original hit Gloria. What? What? On Parrot. Um, and I've, I've looked at it, I've already pulled it out and looked at it, and it is, it's just a, a pretty, 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 pretty record. Yes, it is. Um, and uh, I can't wait to, uh, 
to, to give this a spin. Wow, I'm just totally blown away. This is a great man. And, and uh, of course, Van Morrison, man, you know. Um, and uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, of all the songs that he did, the two that are iconic, I think, for most everybody is Brown Eyed Girl, of course, which was his first solo hit, and Gloria, which was a hit, and then a hit again with uh, Shadows of Night did it, and um, a lot of people covered it, and it still cover it, you know, um, although I think the most recent that I can actually cite would be Patti Smith, um, but, uh, oh my God, uh, what a great song. What a great song. What a great album. I can never, I can, I, I, there's no way I can thank you enough. Particularly when then, on top of all this, you send me this beautiful sun dazed reissue of the Incredible String Band's album, The Hangman's Beautiful Daughter. I could not be more thrilled, and I am so indebted to you. Um, it, it, for those of you that maybe don't know, because I wasn't making videos at the time, but Bo, uh, oh, last summer I think it was, uh, had sent me a, a wonderful uh, box that ha included, uh, you know, uh, uh, the Doors' first album and some great singles, and I mean, just this guy is so generous. Um, uh, so, uh, dude, I owe you big time, and thank you, and. That's it. I'm out. I've already probably babbled 25 minutes knowing me. Um, peace out.